A year after the government launched the Home Assistance and Relief Program, or HARP, for residents on Grand Bahama and Abaco, whose homes were damaged by Hurricane Dorian, phase two is nearing. Chairman of the Disaster Reconstruction Authority, Alex Storr, says... The program, which replaced the oversubscribed Small Homes Repairs Program, has assisted in repairing 10 homes. Now, through HARP, roof, window, and siding repairs were done, allowing homes to homeowners, actually, to move back in. Government initially uh, pumped a million dollars into the HARP program. We have not expended all those funds as yet as they are releasing in tranches. And so we hope to get the next tranche as soon as possible so that we could go on to the next phase. In this phase, I think on Abaco, there were some uh, 10 homes that be uh, various stages of repairs. And, and moving into phase two, what's the projected number of homes you want us hope to build? Well, we are reviewing the files right now. It depends, you know, um, we're trying using $250,000 to repair as many homes as possible. And so there are various sizes. So I couldn't give you a figure on how many homes right now, but that would be the dollar a month for that phase. The homeowner recently moved back into her house, recapping that she decided to leave Abaco after having a dream of the 2019 catastrophic storm. After I saw in my dream, it played in my dream just like I would play in real life. And I, I told my mommy I had to go to Freeport, I can't stay here. So I just parked everything in a bin, all my stuff in a bin, park them neat and just put them, uh, leave them in the house. Then I uh, just go on the free pool. It was one more seat, and I say, I have to get on, because I have a uh, panic attack, anxiety attack and panic attack. So my mommy say, try go, and try get on the flight. So the woman say, you could get on, I, and then I get on.